From Studio A in Hobart Hall, WPTV presents Late Night with James Nuzzo and Eric Dargis. With really P coordinator Kim Casamento. Music by Heather Cook from Soulmates. And now, here's your host, James Nuzzo. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good. Uh, welcome to Late Night, and uh, let's get right into it. Um, here's what's going on this week. A uh, new song by Usher will be exclusively released in select boxes of Honey Nut Cheerios sold at Walmart. <laughs> Finally, something more stale than the cereal itself. <laughs> you gonna buy that, Eric? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay! Uh, meme star Grumpy Cat will be hosting WWE's Monday Night Raw. John Cena had to drop out of their scheduled fight due to a cat allergy. <laughs> a stray tiger was spotted near Disneyland. He drew attention to himself when he was later spotted with a stray bear, pig, and a depressed donkey. <laughs> they found Winnie the Pooh in the kiddie pool. <laughs> Did they really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Is that part of the story? It's just a poop joke. Okay. <laughs> uh, a teen Walmart employee was charged with using deodorant and returning it to the store shelves. Uh, luckily, security had the right guard on the spot. Considering it's Walmart, I'm kind of just glad that he used deodorant at all. That's true. <laughs> As an employee, too. As an employee. <laughs> Uh, a study was released saying that picking your nose and eating it may be good for you. No. Some doctors say it is, and some say it's not. <laughs> uh, <laughs> TV star Amy Childs uh, thought Ebola was the name of a boy band. Uh, I see where she's coming from because uh, One Direction makes me sick too, so. <laughs> Um, a bear fell through a skylight of an Alaskan home where it proceeded to eat the cupcakes from a one-year-old's birthday party. <laughs> he came for the cupcakes and stayed for the bear pong. I guess you could say he was a real party animal. <laughs> I guess you could say that. Yeah, good. Uh, and finally, uh, Randy Jackson will be leaving American Idol after 12 years on the show. Uh, he's leaving after 13 seasons, even though the viewers left after six. <laughs> uh, we have a great show for you tonight. Tully P coordinator Kim Casamento is here. Ladies and gentlemen, your crowdsourced band. How you doing, Eric? I'm doing pretty well. I'm feeling pretty nice. How about you? I'm pretty good. Uh, you know it's a special night? Yes, very special night. Um, my mom and my aunt are in the audience tonight. Yay. And my mom actually got me this bamboo plant. Yeah, I was wondering about that. What's the story behind it that? It means, uh, apparently it means luck. I wish luck. It's like wish, wishing luck. Well, thank you for the good luck wish. Yeah. Well, it's what? me. Oh. They didn't... That explains so much. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, looking a little scruffy over there. Yeah, uh, it's No Shave November. You're taking part in that? Yeah, you should see my chest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to get into things now. You don't want to. No way. Uh, anyway, have any of you guys heard of Humans of WP? OK. Uh, it's a page Tully P created inspired uh, from Humans of New York where they show faces and stories of the William Patterson University community. Now, our writers decided that they were going to create their own page, but they thought, why is it only for students and faculty? So now, we present to you a little segment we like to call Geese of WP. Geese of WP. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Um, let's look at the first one we got today. Let's see what this goose has to say. Uh, I wanted to swim in Whitman Gym, but I forgot my ID, so I just have to swim in the lake. <laughs> Let's see what this one is. Uh, we're transferring. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. 
All right, next one. Uh, let's see. 12 weeks into the semester, and I still don't know whether my class is in Hunziker Hall or Hunziker Wing. <laughs> All right, uh, I'd rather eat the grass here than the food on campus. <laughs> and let's see, uh, next one. I still haven't decided my major, but I don't mind because I think we're all a little undecided here. <laughs> That's adorable. cute. That's an adorable one. It's very cute. Yeah. Um, so if you want to see more of Gisa WP, go to gisawp.tumblr.com. It's not there yet, <laughs> but it will be. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Uh, when we come back, Eric and I will sit down with Philly P. Coordinator, Kim Casamento. So stick around, this is late. Yeah. Sounds great, Eric. Uh, we got a great band this time. Uh, all right, this this is gonna blow your mind. All right, we got Wiz Latifah. That's the name. <laughs> the name of the band. Wiz Latifah. Is now the name it's of the made up of Wiz Khalifa and Queen Latifah impersonators. <laughs> Can I ask who is who? They don't like to talk about oh, okay. it. But most importantly, their best, this was their hit song. Uh, they take Wiz Khalifa songs and style it to the movies and the likings of Queen Latifah. They had the smash hit, Bringing Down the House. But most of all was their famous song, Uh-huh, you know who it is, Queen Latifah, Queen Latifah, Queen Latifah, Queen Latifah. <laughs> all right, well, you sound great, Liz. Win, uh, Wiz Latifah. <laughs> I don't think it's one. It's Wiz Latifah. All right, all right, I believe you. <laughs> all right, um, so our guest tonight uh, is one of the coordinators of the biggest social media page on William Patterson University, uh, Twilly P. So ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Kim Casamento. It's a big thank you. Well, thank you for being a guest on our show. Thank you for having me. Um, so you are a part of Twilly P. Yes. What do you do for Twilly P? I am one of the coordinators, one of the original. We also had Shannon and Jacqueline. Um, they, are, they were undergraduates, and I'm actually a grad assistant now. And we are also behind Humans of WP. So the humans, I mean the geese. geese and, of WP. Yeah, that was really great. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so for the people that don't know what Twilly P is, do you want to explain? I mean, most people that go here do, but Hopefully. for the people who don't go there? Yeah, Twilly P is an online social media campaign. Um, it started on Twitter, and then we branched out to YouTube, and we are now delving into um, Tumblr and a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. So it's basically just to get all of the students at William Patterson to talk to each other, and commuters especially. I was a commuter, mm -hmm. so I understand that you may not make friends yeah. being a commuter so um, you could use the hashtag you can ask somebody for a favor you can ask us for a favor um, we're always there I'm um, basically always awake answering tweets and helping people out yeah that's great um, so you said you were a commuter you went you were a commuter when you went here mm -hmm. what did you study when you were here um, I actually studied communications and now okay. I'm studying digital media as my master's. Were you like PR? Yeah kind of PR. That's pretty cool um, so how many followers does Twilly P have? Because I feel like they, since a lot of the campus knows them, I feel like that there yeah, has to be a lot. Yeah, we have 2,932. I have like seven now. <laughs> seven in total? Well, including my mom, eight. Your mom follows you on Twitter? My mom follows you on Twitter. <laughs> That's pretty good. I don't have a personal Twitter anymore. Well, I just started a new one like two months ago, but I don't know. So even you have just time. use Twilly P's yeah, Twitter, Twitter as your Twitter? Mm -hmm. That's pretty interesting. And I might be doing a few other social media campaigns on campus, actually. That's awesome. Can like what? Can we get Twilly P a yik yak? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. What campaigns are you doing on campus, you said? Um, I think I'm going to start helping out this, the student development department. Okay. So 
we branch out to all different departments to try to help them out and just give everybody a little bit of knowledge about Twitter and social media and how to use it and how to use hashtags and mm -hmm. to be successful, basically. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a tough thing to learn, especially because mm -hmm. we try to promote our show. Yeah. I mean, we don't promote our own show. <laughs> uh, but w when the people promote our show, our we have we trouble. Know, we have, there's Rick and there's Daryl. I don't know a Rick or a Daryl. Is that Walking Dead? Are you talking about Walking Dead? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite part about working with Talibi? A lot of freedom, uh, creative freedom. If you check out our videos, I see a lot of yeah. faces here tonight that actually were in our videos. Uh, Taylor Swift lip dub video. We actually have a new one coming out tonight, right after I leave here. Okay. Uh, for the winter athletics, and that's gonna be pretty good. Um, so basically, I just go out with the videographer, Shannon, and um, we take video of people on campus and we try to make a cool video mm -hmm. and it's awesome. They all, I mean, they all look great when you see them on Thank YouTube. You. They always, um, how many people like work with you when you go out and do stuff like that? Um, the original crew was three. So it was Jacqueline, Shannon and I. Mm -hmm. And then um, every year we kind of get like a new photographer or n somebody new to help us out. So right now on the humans, of WP, we have Catalina and another photographer who you'll probably see on campus a lot taking pictures, and her name is Jess. So, so in total, like five. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, they'll come to our show. Yes. Yeah. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Get some more guests going here. Mm -hmm. And pictures. And pictures. I mean, Especially guests. Especially pictures. Mostly. Or guests, too. Two, wait, guests, too? Oh, guests, too. Guests as well. Sorry, I didn't understand what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, for being. Uh, heavily involved in Twitter, you must have like a weird Twitter interaction or a weird Twitter story from Twilly P or um, I feel like there has to be something. There's been some weird things. One of the best things that's ever happened was there's this girl, Super Munchkin. Hi Super Munchkin if you're watching. That's her <laughs> that's her handle. I know a lot of people by their handles, which At is kinda Super weird. Munchkin? At Super Munchkin, I think underscore 93. Sounds like one of our bands we have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, her name is Julie and I've never met her in person but since she's been following us since 2012 like I feel like I know her and she got Twilly P engraved on her um, on her ring for her graduating class. Wow that's, that's pretty, dedication. Yeah it's really dedication. We're getting late night on our ring. <laughs> <laughs> um, so lastly uh, can you take a selfie of us and put it on Twilly P? Yes I can. Can we do that? Sure. All right, I don't know how we're going to do this. You can use my, I have really right, short right, arms. Arm. This is live <laughs> on the air. Live on the air. It's like the Ellen DeGeneres thing. Yeah. Except we're, we're more famous. We're, and we're not going to break Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag don't break Twitter. Hashtag Twilly P. Okay. All right, thank you so much. Uh, Kim Casamento, everybody. Um, when we get back, we're going to play a little game of who tweeted it, so don't go anywhere. This is Lady. Welcome back to Late Night, everybody. Uh, I'm here with Eric Dargis and Kim Casamento. And now, Eric, for being your friend, I'd say you know a fairly decent amount about social media. Oh, I'd say I'm a social media master. Do you think you know enough to go up against the master of Twilly P over here? I would say no would be the correct answer. Well, we're doing it anyway. Uh, so it's time for a little game here on Late Night we like to call Who, Who Tweeted It? it? Took me two weeks to make that. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna start with you first. So now it's time for round one. No pressure. <coughs> All right. Here we go. All right. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Let's cue the first tweet up here. Uh, so your tweet is: Who else thinks dolphins are pretty amazing? Do you think it was Sea World or Seal? Well, Seal's a singer, I think. Yes, he is a singer. I don't think he thinks about dolphins too often, so I'll go with SeaWorld. Is it SeaWorld? It is SeaWorld. Sea <laughs> okay. okay. All right, Eric. Touche. So, are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. Let's see the next tweet. Oh, here, it's already here. 
Uh, getting sick of all the white people in my family. <laughs> Who tweeted it? Is there a pass? No. Um, Is it Kanye West or Macklemore? Well, I've been to a Kanye concert. So I know this is Kanye West. This is Kanye is West. Is it Kanye West? Oh. It's Mac. <laughs> wow. All right. All right. So okay. it's, it's 1 0 right now. Okay. Uh, so now it's time for round two. All right. Uh, the next tweet is I passed my driving test this morning! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Wrong. It's, it's not wrong yet. <laughs> Was it Adele or official Willow, who is Willow Smith, who is Will Smith's daughter, who was younger? This is rough, because I feel like she looks like she's five. Yeah. Adele, I know, is over 21 at least, because that <laughs> says Adele 21. <laughs> Indeed. I'm going to go with official Willow, just because of the amount of exclamation points. It's actually Adele. Uh, why isn't she driving yet? That's I have, not even that's, fair. That's why we put it up here. All right, Eric. Well, she's British. They drive on the wrong side of the road anyway. So <laughs> she probably failed her driver's test. Yeah, you're probably right. Probably. Next one. My grandma pregnant again, trying to talk her out of keeping it. <laughs> Was it rapper 2 chains or <laughs> 50 Cent? I know that wasn't my boy 50, so that I'm going to have to go with 2 chains on this one. See it? <laughs> Fitty! <Yeah>. Fitty! <laughs> no! Alright, so now it's time for the final round. So we're going to show one tweet up here, and I'm going to ask Kim, and then I'm going to ask Eric, and we're not going to re reveal the answer until it's over, and then we'll see who wins. So, hope you're ready. Alright, here's the tweet. I'm at Knott's Berry Farms and my butt's too big to fit in the seats on ride. Ah, that's me yelling. <laughs> Was it Shaq, Shaquille O'Neal, or Nicki Minaj? Who do you think it is? Shaquille. All right, all right. She says Shaquille. She's Shaquille. You ready? Yeah. Um, you want to read the tweet again? Oh, no, I got okay. it. Look. Um, me and Shaq go way back. I know the way he talks. This ain't, this is not Shaq. This is my girl Nikki. And let's reveal the answer. It is Shaquille O'Neal. That it was terrible. Obviously, you know way more about social media than Eric does. But I'd like to thank uh, Kim Casamento for joining us tonight. When we come back, we're going to hear some music from Heather Cook from Soulmate. So don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, Heather Cook from Soulmates. Under my bed But you Make me less afraid Like anything is possible I could be unstoppable And you Make me feel embraced Like my words are not hollow And you'll love me through tomorrow Oh. 
Nobody told me that I would get bruised Sometimes I win, often I lose The likely disasters, not something I choose But I won't hide under the sheets I'd rather have hope step out of my home Live out the promises, dreams that I keep when you make me less afraid like anything is possible i could be unstoppable and you make me feel embraced like my words are not hollow and you'll love me through tomorrow Thank you. Aaron. Everybody. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Oh. My thanks to Kim Sacramento and Heather Kitts for joining us and our house fans, Wiz Latifa. We'll see you guys next time on Late Night. Good night, everybody.